Hello and welcome everyone to another beautiful episode of Gatsby WordPress theme development. Uh, in the previous video you learned about how to create the pages dynamically in Gatsby uh, using the create page API and in this video we're going to learn about writing the queries for home page. Okay so for home page there are a few things we need to do so what you can, what you can do is there is a WordPress folder over here and then there is ACF data so you can just download this acf.json file and then come in over here and come in over here instead of WordPress and just go to ACF uh, custom fields I'm assuming that you've already installed ACF plugin uh, on your WordPress site if you haven't already you can do that and then come to tools and then just import that JSON file over here. Once you do that then it will automatically create the custom home page uh, custom fields okay and it will have a few of the custom fields over here like banner, search selection, feature, post etc and just make sure you assign to your home page uh, and of course your home page should be present so if you haven't created the home page make sure you create a home page first and then assign to it. Okay, awesome. So once you've done that, uh, we'll go back to our home page over here. I'm just going to open it into a new tab. Um, search for home. There you go. This is my home page. And then you can see that you've got all of these fields already created by the ACF under home page so we have the front page banner so let me show you what I mean here I'm going to go on to the demo of it so there is a demo okay so you have this this section right here the hero section so for that uh, you know for the banner section you have the title description explore uh, the link text and which page should it go to all of that stuff is here okay so all of this content then you comes the search section so for search section you have your label uh, background image and taxonomies which is what categories you want to uh, show over here and also you have the category icons for now we're just having three of them okay so the support for three and then you have the featured post section so if you scroll down you have the featured post section created by ACF wherein you can search for any post and you can just add them here so I have selected these three okay and um, the next section that you see over here latest post is basically the top three latest posts that are being displayed over here there is no field for ACF in that because this is just latest posts they are, these are not featured posts and then you have the header and footer so let's jump on to the header and the footer so how do we create that if you go to my github repository which is Gatsby WordPress theme at Imran H. Sayed if you scroll down you will see a section of how to set up the WordPress so it says that activate all of the plugins from the WordPress plugins folder of this repo uh, so I'm assuming you've done that and uh, or you can also clone it but you know let's say that you go with this step the second step is to set up the header menus so you'll come in over here into WordPress appearance and then menus and uh, just cl click on create new menu and once you create it just give it a name of let's say if you're doing uh, header menu can create just give it a name of header menu header menu uh, name could be anything just to ensure that display location is selected here like this okay and then whatever pages you have just assigned to them you can rearrange them the way you want to similarly do the same thing for footer as well so create a new menu and then once you create a new menu it'll ask you for the name assign the pages you want to show there and then select HCMS footer menu okay awesome uh, so once you've installed all of the plugins in fact uh, we can write the query onto the Gatsby graphical itself or here so let's try that so I'm just going to do npm run dev 
All right, so the development server is spinning up and we need to access the GraphQL. So let's do that. And I'm going to go over here and just hit enter. Okay, so this is where we need to write the query. And before we go on to the menus, let's write the query for the home page and then we'll come back to the menu as well. Okay, so what do we have? So okay, so we have the HW GraphQL. And what do we want from that? We want page by because I want to have the home page. So I'm going to select page by from here. Let me zoom it in for you. Okay, and uh, then we want the page by URI. So I want the home page. So I'll put home over here. Okay, and then we need the title. So let's go for the title. Okay, here's the title. Then I want to have uh, the ACF uh, fields. So for ACF fields, let me show that to you. So when you create the ACF fields and you scroll down at the bottom, you need to ensure that uh, showing GraphQL is selected and then you can give any name over here. So I have given front page meta, which means all of the custom fields, uh, you know, for the home page will be available inside of the front page meta key over here. Okay, so I can go over here and see I have a front page meta. So I'll select that and then I want the field group name uh, just for my reference just to, so I know that what I'm referring to. Then I want the banner. So I'll select banner. I want again field group description page link uh, page link text title. Okay, and then I want the HW GraphQL page. Okay, and then I want the ID and the URI. So I already have the ID, and then I'm gonna go for the URI. Okay, so I've got that, and then I also want the Featured post section, so I'll have all of these three. So this H W GraphQL posts, and from that I want the ID, which is already there, and I want the title. So where's my title? So here's my title, okay. And then I want excerpt date and URI. So excerpt, and then date and then URI. Okay, so I want all of this and then I want the featured image. Okay, so of course it's going to take a really long time if I go through each of the section and explain it to you. So I what I would rather do, you've understood how to get the data basically. So let's just hit it for now. You can see that I've got all of the data available here. I've got title, home page, everything. Okay, so I've got all of the data being shown over here. Now what I would do is I'll just copy the query from GitHub because otherwise it will take a long time for me to go through each one of them and just type, I mean just select them. So let me go to the front page and I'm just going to copy the query from here. So here it is. Okay, I'll come in over here and I'll just predify it. Oops, I think I don't need this over here. Okay. Predify, yep, it's predified. Let's hit it. Okay, so you can see that I've got the title, front page meta, all of these details, details over here, right? Taxonomies, I've got that right I've got featured post section and then I've got title excerpt featured image so basically I've got all of the data even I've got the data for all of the posts as well so I'm going for uh, like uh, you know 5,000 posts okay and uh, I've got first three posts over here so top three first three posts and then I have the section for search section and I have the front, the banner, etc. Okay, so I've got all of the data available here. And all right, so this is how you'll write the query for the home page. And uh, now 
in the next video you will learn about how to go ahead and write the query into your create pages and use the create page API to go ahead and dy dynamically create this page okay so I'll see you in the next video I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, I'm going to see you in the next video thank you bye bye